All right, guys, this is the last home of the day for Clayton Homes. All right, you <laughs> this is home number 10. All right, this is home number 10. And I feel like this should be like their uh, one of their best because this thing is, is sitting here. They done, they done went all out or whatnot. And they had my, my favorite home down there at the bottom. So I'm expecting this home to top that one. All right, so you got a little porch right here. Not bad. Might not be able to throw your little rocking chair on there, but it's all good. Okay. All right, so we come straight into the living room and the living room and the dining room. Living room, living room, my bad. My bad, y'all. Living room, living room, dining room. All right, so we're gonna close this door. No more shaky footage. I'm gonna try not to shake that much. All right, so this is very, very interesting, all right? So right here, you have the first living room, all right? The first living room, and let me see if I can get in the corner so you guys can uh, can really see what's going on. We got lights. We, this thing is peppered with lights all the way over to the kitchen. Not mad at that. I'm not mad at all at that. But yeah, so this is the first living room that you have or whatnot. So before we get into the rest of the house, we're gonna go ahead and peek back into here, all right? So we are greeted with our little eco-friendly, all right? Little eco B. You have a decent size, uh-oh, battery's going dead, guys. This is the last home, so we gotta we gotta speed things up a little bit. All right, so you have some outlets over there on the uh, the far side here, right by the window. You have an outlet there, a vent on the side. Interesting. Hmm. All right, you got a vent down here. You have a regular closet, no carpet, no carpet at all. All right, yep, you got that window right there. You got those outlets right there, no carpet. But you do have two lights up top. And again, this is the first bedroom. Let me get over here in the corner so you guys can see exactly what that looks like. All right. Not bad, not bad at all, all right? So they're, they're doing different things with these doorknobs now. I just realized that. I mean, I guess it makes more sense. Snatch that thing off. All right, so come out of there and we go inside of a bathroom. Hmm, this is interesting. That is very, very interesting. Is that? Oh, that's a, <laughs> that's a mirror. This is a mirror. I thought this was... Forgive me. All right, so not bad. This is interesting. This is a definitely interesting way to do things. And then, of course, you have, you know, your mirror here, a little place for you to brush your teeth, be able to see yourself brushing your teeth, and back up into one of these things when it pokes you in the back. On this side, oh, we have another one. Okay, so brother and sister can sit there and brush their teeth or whatnot at the same time while... Their other brother or sister can actually close this door, use the restroom, shower, bath, take a bath or whatever. So you got the washer. Why do I keep saying that? You have the shower and tub combo. I need to get another wash and dryer uh, combo, I see. That's what that is. That, that, that's what my brain is telling me. All right, so you got a light up there at the top, all right? And you also have this big window right here. All right, you have a light right there with a vent right there and a vent down here at the bottom. All right, that vent is just for smell. It's not really gonna let in any AC or heat. All right, open that door. And again, we are back into those little sinks, that's not bad, man. Not bad at all. And on each side, you do have a little outlet. 
that you can use. So we're gonna walk straight into a nice size bedroom. Not the biggest thing in the world, not the smallest thing in the world, but you have a decent size window. You have some outlets that you can plug some devices and stuff up to. Every corner on this wall, you actually have two. You have a vent right here, which is not bad. I'll let you guys see exactly what this room looks like. All right, not bad at all. And you have two lights that's up top. All right, so we're gonna go into, this is a walk-in closet that you gotta check out. Thought I had my light on, but I guessed. Guess not. Guess not. I said guess. It's that heat. All right, guys. Not bad at all. All right. Stepping inside here. What the heck is going on? All right. So we got a vent down here. We got an outlet over there. Outlet over there. We have a window right here. I don't know, I just like being inside of these uh, these rooms because my voice kind of echoes a little bit. All right, so you have, I like, I like hearing myself talk. You have a outlet over here and probably two outlets on that far wall right there. You have some lights up top. And inside, I'm pretty sure you have like a little walk-in closet. We'll check that out in just a sec. I see that right there. Okay. And of course, you got the window beside me. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. You got a light up top, walk in closet. Not bad. All right. So let's get out of here and go to the other part of the house. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to keep this thing on the floor because I want you guys seeing the price just yet. All right. Y'all just take a look at it. All right, so this right here is another living room. This is another living room right here. You got three windows. You got three windows right here that's letting in more than enough light, all right? Sitting space if you just want to sit and mingle. Don't see the purpose of having this here. I'm sorry. Don't see the purpose. All right, so let's go into here. You got the washer and dryer room. Washer and dryer or the laundry room. Self-service. I love it. Over 24 hours. That's dope. No surprises, baby. No surprises. We all know what it is. We all, y'all don't know. I like y'all don't know. All right. There we go. Got some lights and stuff up top. Not bad. Not bad for a... Uh, a laundry room, not bad at all. All right, make sure we don't uh, let you guys see that refrigerator just yet. All right, so now we're going into the master bedroom. Okay, interesting. Coming around that corner right here. Decent size, not too bad. Not the biggest thing in the world, not the smallest thing. They bet not put that little cheap carpet in here, bro. Come on, man. Y'all better not. Well, they kind of slacked up with this drywall, so I, would, I wouldn't be surprised. Would not be surprised if they were to put that in here. Um, you got two bright, uh, two big windows right here. You have outlets right there, outlet there. You got a vent there, outlet there, outlet there. Outlet there, vent, and outlet behind that box. Let me go over here in the corner so you guys can get a better look at this thing. Battery is steady dying, so we got that. We got to put a little pep into my step a little bit. All right. So let's go into the master bedroom. I mean, master bathroom. All right. So you guys can see this big gigantic tub right here with this big, uh, big window. And then right here over in the corner, you have a little private toilet or whatever. You got a light above and a vent. You have a little his and hers, not bad. Two lights above that. Oh, did they do it? No, they didn't. Okay, all right. It's not that small. 
It's small, but it, uh, it may be around what I was used to seeing in Rock Hill. It may be, no, it may be a little bit bigger than that. Again, not a fan of these uh, super small walk-in showers. But teach his own, man, you know. Could have definitely made that thing a little bit bigger, a little bit longer. You know. All right. So let's step into the... This is the master. This is... Wow. Interesting. This is the walk-in closet. For the master. Huh. Underwhelmed. Yet again. All right. Hmm. Interesting. I guess I expected a little bit more out of this. Huh. All right. Let's go here and see what Jojo thinks. Jojo, what are your thoughts? All right, this right here is the dining room, guys. Yeah. Four. Yes, four. Four bedroom. This right is the dining room. That's a lot of room in that little space. Mm-hmm. Um, right. I think when you walk in, yeah. it's too open. Yeah. Like you're in two living rooms, dining room, and kitchen. I mean, you got to keep all of this clean. <laughs> Which well, it should be clean anyway. Absolutely, well, absolutely <laughs> young lady. If you're doing stuff, <laughs> it's gonna be. I don't get the two living room space. Yeah, not a fan. Not a fan at all of that at all. This is really weird. I didn't understand what this was. Oh, okay. I didn't. I thought that was just there for looks. So I appreciate that though. Yeah, I'm guessing it's a closet. It could have been an extra bathroom or. It could have been added on to that little laundry space hmm. and with some extra cabinets or something. Interesting. It's almost like a, the kids can go in there and get lost type of. Right. High, good for hide and seek. Yeah. It could How much? Be something else. Um, there's a lot of space. There's a lot of rooms. Mm -hmm. Four bed, two bath. Um, sheesh. 175. Okay. All right, so for a four bed, two bath, 2,000 square feet, 2,000 square feet, man, let me tell you something. I ain't paying more than a buck 40 for this thing, play. I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, so for a four bed, two bath, 2,000 square feet, you're looking at a starting price of $170,737. And then you have a few add-ons, and I do mean a few add-ons. And for that total price, you're looking at $171,815 for the Breeze 2 home. I'll pass. I'll pass on that. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So, all right, guys, this is the very last home at Clayton Homes in, uh, not Asheville, what is it called? Where are we? Uh, Shelby. Shelby. In Shelby, North Carolina. All right. Clayton Homes in Shelby, North Carolina. We're going to be checking out a few different places out here. JoJo and I are going to go get us something to eat, a little chill down or whatnot before we go to the next spot. But you guys, y'all let me know what you guys think down in the comments about uh, Clayton Homes in Shelby, North Carolina. And if you haven't seen all of these homes, you guys should already know what my favorite home is. It, it It's blue. I'm just going to say it's blue. Do you remember the name of it, JJ? Country Air. Country Air. All right. The Country Air. I'm probably going to blow that thing up. By far, my favorite homes out here at Clayton Homes in Shelby. If you guys ever get a chance to come down here, check out that home. It will blow your mind. And it has a good price. All right. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.